everyone.
Your Majesty! Your Majesty, it is I, Leander! Please! You must come to your senses! It is too late for that, I'm afraid. Your queen is gone. Henceforth she shall be my puppet, nothing more. You will return her to me, now! Hmm, tell me, why do you even care? Her people think little of her. She is powerless, weak, unloved. Hydropolis would be nothing without its queen. And why is that? Even were I inclined to tell you, you would not understand. <laughs> so be it! Then I would ask that you do as your queen did, and surrender your feeble spirit to me. I surrender to none but Her Majesty! Leander? Is she coming around? <laughs> this has gone on long enough. Your kingdom is doomed, but then beauty never lasts. <laughs> Brain skimmer, then the king's bond truly is broken. You heard the money man, no king's bond, meaning we've got ourselves a kingmaker to clobber.
Hey. Of course. Uh-huh. Yes. Hmm. Yes. One day, we will marry, and you will be my king. I promise. I promise that I will marry you. That I will always protect you. That I will never leave your side. Do you swear it? On your life? I do, Your Majesty. I do. Oh, Leander. I love you. How could I forget? It is my most cherished memory. And the reason I gave my life to you in service. But that was not what I asked of you. I asked that you become my husband. My king. But the law of Hydropolis forbids it. I could not become king. I cannot. Do not pretend, Leander. Whosoever possesses the ether possesses the right to rule. It was the first king of Hydropolis who brought it back with him, and with it claimed his crown. But surely one such as I cannot... Who better? Who else has guarded this realm more vigilantly? Cared for it more faithfully? As queen, I can accept no other. You must marry me. I command you. But, Your Majesty, I cannot. Why? For the sake of the kingdom? The hallowed realm over which we have watched for so long? If we are joined in marriage, then all must end. Time cannot repeat itself. Hydropolis must fade. Yes, and I cannot allow that to happen. Let go, Leander. This realm may fade, but another will soon blossom in its place. New life. A new kingdom. It should have happened long ago. But I could not let it. I had to have one last day by your side. Again and again. Your Majesty. But it is time at last. I am ready, Leander. The wheel must turn again for Hydropolis 
And if it brings our destruction, then so be it. Your mind is made up then? It is. So come, take your place by my side. Be my husband, my king. I will. <sighs> the preparations for our union will begin at once, but you need not remain to oversee them. I hereby release you from your duties. You are... These travelers have need of your aid. Go with them. Forget the concerns of our kingdom for a time. Truly. Truly. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Let our nations be joined for the sake of the world. Let the banners of war ne'er again be unfurled. United, United we stand as one single land. land. The pact is sealed. Our nations stand together. And now I must bid you farewell. Pray take care of my betrothed until his return. We will. That is, assuming you're still happy to join us, Leander. Of course. I only hope that I may be of use. I'm sure you will be. Evan had freed Queen Nerea from Doloran's wicked clutches. And for his troubles, he had succeeded in adding another nation to his burgeoning union. With it came a great asset, Leander, whose wisdom would surely prove vital in Evermore's continued development. country where love is forbidden. How strange. Yes, but I learned something there. I learned how fiercely a leader can long to protect their nation, and how much they can sacrifice for it. The Queen was prepared to devote her whole life to her kingdom, and for no one ever to know. I'm glad I met her. And Leander. <laughs> well, there's still a way to go, and still an awful lot to learn. Yes, I know. I've really only just begun. In order to grow, we must first realize how small we are. <laughs> it's going to be fun watching you grow into your older, wiser self. Huh? What do you mean? You're too busy building your kingdom to notice anything else, aren't you? All right. I'll see you soon, Evan. Uh, yes. See you soon. My inventions will change the world. I'll finish the perpetual fission reactor if it's the last thing I do. Zip, please. <laughs> I don't care what it costs. <laughs> Chapter 6, The Price of Power
Greetings. I'll be counting on you. Mm. <laughs> Oi. Hmm. Blimey. Forgive me. Hmm. Of course. Hmm. Hey. 